Okay, I'm back. Give me one minute. Let me um let me share the live. I'm back, y'all. Um, I got a phone call and I forgot that when you get a phone call on Facebook that your live gets cut off. So I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let me share the live. And as y'all come in, go ahead and share the live. Um, today is a big day, y'all. It's the launch of my brand. Um, as y'all come in, share the live for me. If you can, please share it to like five people that you know. So today is a big day. Um, today is the launch of Sashay and Slay. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to be showing some products and letting y'all see everything. Oh my gosh. Facebook is so touchy filly. My bad. But, um, I'm going to be sharing my products today. I'm trying to share the live y'all, but I'm going to be showing my products today and letting y'all see everything that I've been working on lately. And I'm super excited. Today is the launch and the website is up and running i have some coupon codes for y'all um so just give me a minute share the live as y'all come in my bad i had got a phone call so it interrupted my live so i had to come back um and i really need to do do not disturb so that way it won't keep cutting my live off. But we just going to try to do it and see what happens, okay? So as y'all come in, just share the live for me. I can't see if y'all commenting right now. So just give me one minute. But today is a big day. And I'm like super nervous, but I'm excited. I'm so excited to show y'all what I've been working on. So just give me a minute. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Give me one minute. Whew. Ooh, my hands are sweating like I'm super excited but my nerves are bad <laughs> my nerves are bad I hope I don't have no I don't my nerves are so bad right now but my man just gave me some encouraging words so <laughs> we just gonna go ahead and drop this today okay um, y'all do not know how hard I have been working behind the scenes. Um, I have been working so hard and like, I know it's going to pay off, but this took a lot of dedication, a lot of missed events, a lot of, uh, sleepless nights. Um, this, this took a while to get here. Um, Miss deadlines, uh, plans not falling through. It's taken a lot to get to where we at today. Um, and I'm super excited. Um, all the people who used to shop 95 Tresses, this is the rebirth, the rebrand. Um, a lot of people know 95 Tresses, but I have rebranded um, and I have dropped something new and different and i'm super excited to show y'all today just give me a moment i'm sharing the live make sure y'all share the live as y'all come in i'm gonna show y'all some products today and let y'all see what i've been working on if y'all got any questions that's business related make sure y'all drop it in the chat and i am going to answer them and I'm going to start going live more often so that I can get to my business people and start teaching some business stuff. Um, 
and just stuff that I've learned along the way, the trials and the errors. If you have any questions about getting started with a business, um, I am your girl. I'm your girl. I can't see y'all comments right now because I'm trying to share the live. But when y'all come in, share the live for me um, so we can get started. I need a couple more people in here. I'm like super, super nervous right now, but I'm definitely excited. Definitely excited and I cannot wait to share what I have been working on. Um, like I said, it took a lot to get here and this is just a, a random day that I picked to drop. Um, but I was feeling it like I woke up yesterday like it's Mother's Day. Um, let's hold off for one more day. So today is the day and i'm super duper excited um like i said the people that shopped 95 trusses before um this is the rebirth this is the relaunch um i literally took a whole year off of business almost two years off of business just to go back to the drawing board to learn as much as i can business wise um take business classes and so many other things i've been doing to prepare to do a relaunch and like i said i've learned so much along the way so if y'all have any business questions make sure y'all drop them in the chat this is the live where i'm going to be answering um and when i start going live more often i'll also be teaching um, some business classes so that I can, you know, help people who are just starting out in business, learn how to navigate, where to go, how to get business licenses, how to get fully verified as a business, um, how to get funding for your business, how much you should save to start a business, um, how much products cost, how to find a vendor, um, everything that y'all want to know business wise, I am the girl. Um, like I said, I started back in 2018. Um, I've been selling hair since 2014. Um, so if y'all got any questions, I am the girl. Okay. Not a long time before I get started. Give me one minute. I'm trying to get some people up in here so I can really get into the real deal, okay? So while y'all waiting, just drop some questions in the chat. I'm going to keep the live up so that way if you got to step out and you need to come back later, your question might be answered somewhere in the video and you can just watch it later. Um, but yes, I'm going to keep the video up because I'm pretty sure people are going to be asking me questions and I want to be able to answer them and give y'all like some backstory if y'all have questions about how I got started and things like that. Um, I will definitely be answering those questions today. Um, my business is a, I don't even want to call it a hair company. It's no longer a hair company. Um, when I got started back in 2014, it was a hair company, but now it has rebranded into something so different so creative and um i no longer want to refer to it as a hair company because it's like way more now than it used to be so like i said if y'all just coming in i got started back in 2014 so if it's any business questions that y'all have put it in the chat i'm well versed in many fields um, I am your business girl. I know a lot about business and a lot about marketing, um, a lot about ads, um, making money on social media. I have a YouTube channel with over a million views. Um, I started my YouTube channel back in 2011 or 2012. Um, and I started small time just like anybody else with zero subscribers and I got over a million views now. I do not do YouTube anymore. I might get back into it. I don't know. 
how I'm feeling about YouTube right now. But um, if y'all have any questions, make sure y'all drop them in the chat. When y'all come in, just share the live for me so y'all friends and family can get well known with what's going on today. Um, today is a pretty exciting day, okay? Um, if y'all got any business questions, make sure y'all drop them in the chat. I'm going to answer them. If you want to know about business funding, marketing, branding, how to make a logo, how to make a website, um, how do you post ads, what social medias pay the most, um, drop them questions in the chat and I can answer them for y'all. And I'm going to start going live more often so that way... If y'all want to know more business stuff, then I will answer those questions. But drop it in the chat because after I'm done sharing the live, um, I'm going to start answering the questions if y'all have any. And I'm also going to show my products today. The website is up above if y'all want to go browse until I'm done. Um, I also have some coupon codes for y'all to shop today um depending on how the live goes i might give away some free stuff um it's just all about energy i'm real big on energy and vibes so however the live goes today is how i'm gonna base you know how i go about certain stuff and i'm almost done hold on y'all when y'all come in just share the live for me so people can know what's going on today. We about to get some people in here. This is such a random live. I was just feeling it in my spirit. Like, let me just go live and drop my website. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about some products, um, how I got started and things like that if i look like i'm looking at something it's because i'm sharing the live so if y'all talking to me i'm sorry <laughs> give me a minute <laughs> just give me a minute i hope i don't have a uh, chapstick on my teeth but if i do y'all better be a real one and let me know don't be having me on live with um Okay, we good. Don't be having me on live with chapstick on my teeth. Like, that's just not it at all. But, um, I'm going to answer all y'all questions. I'm almost done sharing the live. As y'all come in, just share the live for me. Again, I'm going to keep the live up so that way, um, if you have questions that you need to come back later and watch it, y'all will be able to, um, and I will answer your question at some point in the video. And then y'all will know what's going on. So give me a moment. Every time I think I'm about to be done, it's just like more and more names. Like, oh my gosh, give me a minute. Sheesh. The funny thing is, um, I literally just had like 600 people on my page because I wanted my page to be so private. And then um, people started to send me firm requests and I'm like, well, I'm getting ready to launch anyway. So I'm like, let me just add people to my page. But I really just wanted my social media to be like just family because um, I've been on social media for so long. Y'all, Y'all just don't understand. I've been doing this beauty influencer stuff since 2011, 2012. So I've been doing it for a really, really, really long time. It's very lucrative. If you're thinking about doing it, you should. Um, I encourage everybody to be their own boss. If you have success with it, definitely do it. If you're a comedian, this is the time to showcase your talent. Um, be a comedian. I made the Mint and Made um, Hustle group. If y'all not in there, if you're from Michigan, I definitely encourage you to join the Mint and Made Hustle group. It's on my page. It's linked somewhere um, where you can showcase your business. If you live in Michigan, it's for Michigan business owners and creatives and influencers and people like me 
who want to just share what they're working on drop any new stuff they're working on if you're an artist you want to put your music in there go ahead and join the group what I'm doing, if y'all can, I'm sharing the live. I want y'all, as y'all come in, to just share the live so people know what's going on today. Um, today is a very, very, very big day. Um, today is such a big day. I'm launching my brand. It's been a long time coming. I've been working so hard behind the scenes to get this out and it's been one hell of a roller coaster. So we're definitely gonna get into the nitty gritty today. I don't think I said that word in forever, but um, <laughs> we gonna get into it today and we gonna talk about what's been going on, what all I've been working on, how do you do labels um, and things like that. Packaging, if y'all have questions about that, business licenses, whatever. Okay, I'm done sharing. Hello, let me see. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. I'm super excited. I'm done sharing the live. Finally, as y'all come in, just share the live for me and um, we can talk about some stuff. If y'all have any business questions, just drop it in the comments and I will answer your question. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about Sashay and Slay my brand i'm super excited um some things that i've been working on is my product line y'all um can i swipe the comments okay my product brand i am like so excited this is well let me show y'all the first one i ever made because then we can really really talk about it so i have been selling hair since 2014 and at the time that was all that i sold and i used to sell hair because i was a hairstylist if y'all know me from doing hair that's how i got started um, I had clients come to me talking about, I need bundles. And at the time, like I started wearing virgin hair back in 2013 or 12. And I was wearing it myself. It started getting big. Everybody wanted it. Um, so I started selling hair. Because if you want to make some money as a hairstylist and just as a service provider, period, you need to sell products. So I started selling hair. And that was my bread and butter, doing hair and selling hair. But along the way, I started wanting to offer more with my brand. Um, and I'll show you guys the hair too. But I wanted to offer more. So what I decided to do is start looking up recipes and how to make certain products and stuff. And one day, I decided to mix up a sugar scrub. And the first ever sugar scrub that I made was called Sweet Cinnababe. So that is the first ever sugar scrub that I made. And this is how it looks, y'all. When I tell you I am super excited about this launch, y'all don't even understand. This is the first ever sugar scrub that I made. Um... And I had this one for a while doing pop-up shops and just getting the word out there. I had it on my website. Um, it looked nothing like how it does today. Um, Sashay and Slay is just going to be a universal brand all over hair, hygiene, and beauty. Um, I no longer want to just be a hair company. And so I took the time to really learn business, um, research everything I needed to know in order to do a more universal brand. Um, the first ever product that I made, just period, was my growth oil. So that's this right here. It's a black castor oil and peppermint oil mixture with several different oils in it. This is, um, hi dad. This is dried um, mint leaves in here, which is really good for the hair. 
So I have this oil. This is the first ever product I made. I made this oil um, when I did my big chop. If y'all don't know, I cut all my hair off one year and I decided to do my big chop. And I was shorter than um, the mama off of good times. My hair was so short. <laughs> it was so short. And I needed something to grow my hair back. And I cut it off because I had new growth. And the going natural was a thing at the time. And everybody, oh, natural this and that. Which I am heavy on the natural now. But at the time, everybody was, oh, go natural. Da -da. They didn't tell you how hard it was going to be. But I ended up going natural and I had to make me a growth oil because I needed my hair to grow back like that. And this is my bread and butter, y'all. It went from just doing hair and selling hair to selling oil too. And everybody loves the oil. So this is the Black Mint Soothing Scalp Oil. So this is the first ever product I made. And after I made the growth oil, I made my first sugar scrub. So that's the Sweet Cinnababe. I love these. They're so freaking nice. This is the Sweet Cinnababe. I'll show y'all the texture of it. Because I have a sample one right here. I'll show y'all what it really, really, really is like inside. So y'all can see. It's super soft, super duper soft. I don't want it to fall out, but super soft. And this collection is called the Sugar Glaze Collection because I don't want, you know, I want it to be creative. Everybody has sugar scrubs, but this is a sugar glaze collection, okay? So it started with launching the Sweet Cinnabab. From the Sweet Cinnababe, I said, you know what? I want to make something else. Um, and I want to make it where people can use it on their face, right? So then I mixed up my Turmeric Glow. So this is for the face, the body, wherever you have blemishes, dark marks, um, things that you're just struggling with acne-wise and you want to clear it up. This is my turmeric glow. And this is also part of the Sugar Glaze collection, but you can use this on your face. I recommend using this on your face. If you're struggling with acne or anything like that, I use it because I struggle with getting dark marks on my face. So I made this one. Um, and this one's a little bit more creamy so that you can put it on your face. If y'all can see that. Oh, I just love this one. Oh my gosh. So after I made the turmeric glow, I said, you know what? Let's just keep going. So then I made, which one did I make first? Oh, uh oh, I made this one, the unicorn craze. Yeah. I made this one and this, I actually made this by accident, okay? Um, I couldn't decide which color I wanted to go with because it's called Unicorn Craze. So I'm like, it has to be colorful. Do I do one color, two colors, three colors? Like, what should I do? So I mixed up two different batches and I just mixed random colors together. And it ended up being this really pretty rose pink. And then it's really soft blue. And I put them both together and I was like, oh my gosh, that is perfect for unicorn. So that's what it looks like. You'll get both of the colors in the jar. Oh, and I just love it so much. Oh my gosh. That one's literally probably like my second babe because this is my babe because it's the first one I ever made to my baby um and at at the time this right here like I don't know so much trial and error making this one so I really feel like this will just always be my favorite 
um then i said we're not stopping there we got to do even more so i made chromatic chromatic y'all can see i made the perfect silver color to go with it this one is called chromatic sugar glaze so i have four sugar glazes right now um this one it's just so dope. I definitely mixed up a whole bunch of colors to try and get something that would really, really resemble chrome. So that's what this one looks like. Look at it. And it has like a pearlescent um, color to it. So when you use it, which when you guys go look at the sachet and say, slash and say, Oh my gosh, I'm tongue tied. Slash A. Sashay and Slay. If I take my retainers out, I would be able to talk. <laughs> okay. If you guys go look at the Sashay and Slay page, um, you guys will see the Get Ready With Me, the doll experience, where the model is using this one right here. Because it just looks so good on our skin tone. Like it just, it just looks so good. And then it has that pearlescent color to it. So like when you use it, it gives like this glittery hue on the skin and it's just like so fire. So if y'all go look at the Get Ready With Me, The Doll Experience, which is the promo video that I shot for the release, um, you guys will see her using the Chromatic Sugar Glaze. Cause it just looks so good on brown skin tones. But these are the four products that I mixed up for my Sugar Glaze collection. I'm super excited. The launch is now. You guys can go shop the collection. And the good thing about the Sugar Glaze collection or any of the products that you put in the cart, if you put them in a cart and you put more than one in there, you will get a deal okay it automatically takes money off the items when you put it in the cart so if you put two in there you get a discount if you put three in there you get a discount if you put four in there you get a discount so the more you add to the cart the more you get off the order so after i launched the sugar glaze collection i said what could go with it like what could i really add to my sugar glaze collection right so then i already okay so this is a crazy thing i did my history on vitamin e if you didn't know you don't have to wear deodorant to bed you don't have to wear deodorant to bed i know people like to take a shower and go to bed but you do not have to put deodorant on to go to bed at night do not put deodorant on okay y'all probably like what but no for real i did my history on vitamin e okay it is so essential so essential okay y'all remember back when everything was shutting down they say if you're not essential you got to get shut down vitamin e would last through the quarantine okay vitamin e is so important for our skin i have it on right now y'all see how glowy my skin is vitamin e is so important so important if you put vitamin e on your armpits at night you do not have to wear deodorant if you put vitamin e on your armpits at night you do not have to wear deodorant I tested it out so many times. I was like, okay, if I take a shower and I put vitamin E on, I'm probably going to sweat it off or because it's oil. I'm probably going to sweat it off or it probably won't last to the morning. I put vitamin E under my armpits and it lasts for hours. So it was only right to make a vitamin E mixture to go with our sugar glaze collection this is lavender 
vitamin E body oil for the body, okay? Lavender vitamin E body oil. Not body, body oil, okay? For the body. And then it has dried lavender in it. Because it's so important, y'all. I don't think y'all understand how important it is to have the real herbs in our products. We need the herbs. Y'all know how they say herbs are healing? They really are. There's just something you're going to get from the herbs that you won't get from an extract of the herb. Okay? So we have the dried mint leaves and the dried lavender inside of our products. Okay? Okay? so fire this is the growth oil in a four ounce this is the vitamin e body oil in a four ounce those are all available on the website right now and we're not done we're not done we're not done anytime that you order one of our sugar glazes guess what you're gonna get a spatula with it you're gonna get a spatula with it because it's a glaze you want to be able to glide it on the body so you're going to get a spatula every time you order a sugar glaze okay and men can use these too honestly the men would probably like using this one more because it's more look like you know a neutral color but my brother uses the turmeric glaze on his face because this is the one that helps with dark marks and things like that and he also uses my sweet cinnababe so he uses these two um so if you're somebody who likes to exfoliate their skin which i highly recommend exfoliating um you should definitely use a sugar glaze okay you need a cleanser you need something that exfoliates you need some type of serum or toner, and you need a moisturizer. So, Sasha and Slay can hook you up with your exfoliator and your serum, okay? We got that for you. So, if y'all want to shop the collection, all of those products are available right now. Um, then I want to show y'all some things that we also got because I know that y'all like to protect y'all hair, right? You can't just be using growth oil and letting it get on your covers or pillowcases or anything like that. But I'm going to tell y'all, my oil is not your average oil. Some oils sit on the scalp. Some oils soak into the scalp. That's how you know you have a good oil. If your oil is just sitting on the scalp and running off everywhere, that's a problem. If your oil is not seeking into your scalp, then it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to grow your hair. It's not going to do anything for you. You have to know what oils to mix together to get a good growth outcome. This goes directly into the scalp. You're going to feel like you never put it on because it goes right into the scalp. A little goes a long way. Literally. My oil is kind of thick because I want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. I don't want you to use it and then you're like, oh my gosh, it's not working. A little goes a long way. And I also have results on my website from people who have used my oil and have gotten their growth results. You're going to start seeing growth immediately. I've used it and cut my hair off in a month. My boss by that and had then came back. Okay. So if you want consistent results, use it at least three times a week. And you're going to start seeing the growth at least a month or two months later. You're going to start seeing the hair grow back. You're going to start seeing your hair get stronger and longer, okay? What we have next is our Mommy and Me collection. But y'all know I'm not a basic girl. So it's not the Mommy and Me. It's the Beauty and Mini Beauty. Beauty and mini beauty collection okay that's what we have right here these are our reversible bonnets the beauty and mini collection which is the mommy and me bonnets these go up to nine months growth and these is for any head size y'all can see they're kind of big 
um let me show y'all they stretch pretty wide okay they're kind of big it'll fit just about any head size so you definitely got room in there and the baby bonnets they'll go up to nine months okay so this is the beauty and mini beauty bonnet collection these are also available on the website right now if you guys go shop you will see them and again anytime you add one of these items to the cart and you decide that you want to add another one you automatically get a discount code okay so this is the beauty and mini beauty collection and they're reversible so you can wear it on the silver side or you can wear it on the black side okay these goes up to nine months okay so if you are a new mom or about to be a mom and you want to buy one for you and your baby to be twinsies this is a good drop okay we have those and then for my girls for my girls that like to wear long extensions long hair you like to have something in where your dreads can hang down your back your braids can ha hang down your back whatever we got you covered because we don't disbelieve in having one thing okay our next item y'all is our long satin bonnets okay our long satin bonnets do y'all see how long it is if you have dreads if you have long braids long extensions 30 inches whatever these are so perfect to wear to bed to shower um i have my personal ones right here as y'all can see mine are just like okay honey i don't uh, <laughs> i wear my own stuff as y'all can see the one that i wear got stuff on it look this the one that I wear currently right now because um, I got my curly hair in. So, and I'll show you guys which pattern that I have in right now. I always got my hair extensions in. Even when I be having braids, I be finding some type of way to incorporate my hair in, okay? Because you gotta, if you want to have a brand, you have to be your walking billboard. Y'all want to pay influencers and y'all want to pay people that you know and you want to pay for ads. And I'm not excluding any of that because it can help your brand. But why are you not wearing your product? Why are you not using your product? Why are you not showing people that you use your product? It matters. People don't want to use something that you don't use. They just don't. If you don't use it, why would I want to use it? You're telling me how good it is, but you're not using it, right? If I never see you wearing your hair, why would I buy it? If I never see you promoting your hair, why would I buy it? I want to buy it because you have it in your hair. Do y'all know how big influencers get? They get that big because of the crowd that follows them. They want to wear what they have on. They want to wear what they have in their hair. They want to buy from whatever brands that they're buying from. It matters. If you're wearing your hair all the time, people are going to buy it. If you always keep your hair done, people want to know who did it, right? That's how people get big because they're the walking billboard for their brand. You will rarely see me without my brand, okay? If I don't have my bonnet... I have my extensions. If I don't have my extensions, I'm using the sugar glaze. If I'm not using the sugar glaze, I'm using my growth oil. If I'm not using my growth oil, I'm using my body oil. You have to wear your brand. You have to wear your brand. You have to. There's no way around it. I don't want to buy it if you're not wearing it. Okay? That's just what it boils down to. So this is my personal bonnet that I've been wearing. Y'all can see it's all stretched and all that yeah because i wear my brand this is the edge wrap that i currently been wearing with it y'all can see it look raggedy whatever i wear it um this is my stretched out beauty bonnet because i wear my brand i had longer curly hair in which i just took it out so that's why my bonnet is stretched 
because depending on what I'm doing, like I like to wear these ones um, at night, but I like to wear these ones in the shower. But honestly, it just depends on how I feel. But this one, um, normally I wear that one uh, in the shower. So anyway, this is the bonnet. So y'all can get a good feel of what you're gonna be getting. This is our long beauty bonnets. We have a hot pink, we have a black, we have a soft pink, and we also have gray, like my personal one that I just showed y'all. These are my brand colors. Um, my old brand color had gray in it. And so I just kept the gray because I'm like, people like it. We're going to keep it. But eventually I may switch over to a brown bonnet because my new brand colors are brown and pink. So, you know, but we still have the gray for right now. So these are our long beauty bonnets, y'all. Again, you get good stretch with these. They're so dope. Y'all can kind of see the two pinks together. You can decide which one you want. If you want the soft pink or if you want the more hot pink. It's more of a difference if you see it in person. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but this is the soft pink. This is the hot pink. And then we also have black and we have gray. And on top of having those different colors, we also have the edge wraps to go with them. So if you're a girl who want the hot pink bonnet, and you want an edge wrap to go with it. We got you covered. Okay. So you can have your bonnet. And you can also have your edge wrap. And then I have two different edge wraps. People don't be doing that. I have two different edge wraps. So I have a short one. And I also have a long one. Let me see which one. Right here. So you can get the short one. That only wraps around to the back. Or you can get the long one. When you put it on, it'll wrap from the front back up, okay? You want to have options. So we have a long one, we have a short one for y'all. And I have one to match each bonnet, okay? So this will be a set. And then if you want the hot pink, this will be the set. And again, when you add these items to the cart, it automatically gives you a discount. So when you add a, a bonnet and an edge wrap, discount if you add two uh sugar scrubs discount if you add three sugar scrubs discount uh uh growth oil i want to make sure people have options okay um the gray if y'all want to see the gray again this will be the gray set and then if you want to see i already showed that one if you want to see the black Where's my black edge wrap? Right here. You can have the black set. So we definitely have options. This is the long black bonnet or edge wrap, excuse me, with the bonnet. You see that? We have options, okay? And along with selling edge wraps, because y'all know I am the baby hair queen. I don't play about my baby hair. I don't play about my baby hair. I don't play about my baby hair. I do not play about my baby hair. I got to have my baby hair. Every style, even when I had the shorter than mama off good times cut, I still had baby hair. Still had baby hair. Because I don't play about my baby hair. Every style has to have baby hair. They a little light today. Because I just want like a little natural look. But I don't play about my baby hair. And so you know that we got the baby hair brush. We have the baby hair brush. Okay. We have the baby hair brush. And y'all know I don't play. What is the best tool that you can use on your baby hair? Do not play a toothbrush. Let me repeat it. The best tool you can use on your baby hair is a toothbrush. 
Y'all remember back in the 90s, we wasn't going to get no special brushes and combs to do our baby hair. It was a toothbrush. So instead of just a regular old toothbrush, you know we like the natural. If y'all have not noticed, my brand is very natural. Natural ingredients, vegan ingredients, satin for your hair. You're not going to catch me playing, okay? I care about growth and I care about good skin, okay? Hygiene is very important. Very important. If you have poor hygiene, I don't think this is the brand for you. But the best tool you can use is a toothbrush. So we have the bamboo with charcoal bristles. The bamboo with charcoal bristles. I always use my brand. Mine is right here. As y'all can see, I've used this a thousand times. You got stuff all in it. Nevertheless, this mug be riding with me. It be riding with me. If you get it wet, if you leave it in the bathroom on the counter and the counter wet, if you use it on your baby hair, guess what? Guess what? You can still use it a thousand times. A thousand times. Charcoal bristles are everything. Everything. Okay? You're not going to find another edge brush that just snaps back. You're not. Before I was using my, um, because I got an example for you. Before I started using my baby hair, this is what I used to hair. This is what I used to wear. Use, excuse me. This raggedy, I don't, I'm not going to lie. This used to be my old faithful though. But I had to dig this out my hairstyle and stuff from when I used to do hair. This used to be my old faithful, okay? But it just it just don't cut it. It gets stuck. Like you see how you can't even really like you gotta clean this hella to be able to use it for real. This get burnt up by the flat iron, the fucking blow dryer. Let's throw that away. Get you a bamboo edge brush. Great for your baby hair. Charcoal bristles. Great for your baby hair. This is a used one. This is a brand new one. Y'all can barely tell the difference. It's wear and tear, but y'all can barely tell the difference. They're durable. They're going to last you a long time. You guys are going to love it. I slick my baby hair down all the time. I have videos of me doing my baby hair with my bamboo brush. I will do more if y'all want to see me use it. I'm going to start doing lives, showing my products, and y'all can just see what it's given, okay? And we're not done. We're definitely not done, and I hope y'all didn't think I was done. Because like I told y'all, I've been doing business since 2014, okay? I've been doing hair for a really long time. I know a lot about business. I know a lot about being a hairstylist. I know a lot about hair. Uh, I know a lot about beauty and hygiene. It just pays to know a lot, okay? It really does. You want to be multi-talented. You want to know a lot in a different field. So that way, if you decide to leave one area, you can pick up in another. Like, it's my passion. I love hygiene. I love beauty. So... Y'all know what y'all know what's coming. Y'all know what's coming. So the hair that I have in currently, the hair, because I know y'all have been waiting to see the hair extensions. Can we just give it up for the packaging, for the branding, for Sashay and Slay, the launch? Can we just give it up? For the branding, do y'all see the labels? I told y'all, if y'all have any business questions, let me know. Do y'all see the packaging? Do y'all see the labels? We don't play about branding. Do y'all see the theme with the brand? We do not play, okay? If you want to have something that's store worthy, that people really want to buy, you got to get in that lab. 
you got to get in that lab and you got to really put a theme together, a brand identity. People want to see a theme. They want to see cohesiveness. They want to see that you have a whole theme, a layout. Branding and packaging matters. Do y'all see the brand? Give it up for the brand. And if y'all haven't guessed yet, the theme is cow print. The theme is cow print. But I'll put a little melanin spin on it. I put a little melanin spin spin on it. I had to. The theme is cow print. Okay? So fire, so bomb. I love it. The hair that I have in right now is my deep wave, which I call my rich curly tresses. Tresses is just another word for hair, y'all. My deep curly hair fire is labeled rich curly on the website if y'all want to shop it go shop it that's the hair that i have in right now the last time i went live i had my kinky curly hair in so it was only right that i give y'all the other curl pattern because i'm pretty much like 95 percent of the time in curly hair yeah because it lasts in any weather swimming shower you name it you want curly hair it lasts year round and my bundles last up to three years three years my bundles last up to three years i can show you i can show you i have a whole bag of stuff i just take off put another one on take off put another one on and i actually made a tiktok which is currently over thirty thousand views on that TikTok because I show people how I take my freaking hair off and put another one back on. But I should do a live so that y'all can see that it's really no deal. Like, I do this all the time. I take one off, put the other one on. I rarely have to do a sewing or anything like that in my hair because I've just gotten to the point where I have so many of these. <laughs> I just take one off and put the other one on. So this is my Rich Curly, and this one is in a 24, 24, yeah. So this is a 24 inch. Do y'all see how shiny? Do y'all see the curl pattern? It's giving real hair. It's, it's giving quality. Okay, quality matters. Quality matters. And the good thing about my brand is up to about 20 inches, you can do two bundles. Unless you just like having a lot of hair in your head. Me personally, I do two and a half. Um, sometimes I do two. It really depends on how much I can fit into my head. Because like I said, my bundles up to about 20 inches are very freaking what's it called um you can put a lot of hair in so you're gonna get a lot off of this but i recommend doing it the one uh the single width uh method if you do single width instead of double weathing you'll get two to two and a half bundles and you'll be good it's gonna look natural as y'all can see i don't have a lot of hair in this is 18 inches and it's single wefted um i did two and a half i like 18 sometimes i just took a 24 out i had 24s and 22 in um so this one is a 24 if y'all want kind of like an idea of what 18 to 24 looks like you're gonna get way more length with this one if you're somebody who likes really long hair um the 26 if you want a 26, I'm going to show you what the body wave looks like in the 26. So you guys can get like a feel of how long the hair would be. This is, um, excuse me, this one is the uh, Rich Curly. I just had a brain fart. This one's the Rich Curly, the one that I have in. This one's the Pretty Kink Tresses. So I'm going to show y'all all four textures that I have currently. I have everything in stock. If y'all want to shop the website right now, new customers get 15% off their order. 
new customers get 15% off their order. If you order more than one item, you automatically get a discount. You're going to get $2 off. I believe when you put two items in the cart, it gives you automatic $2 off. So you don't have to pay full price for both. Um, but this is the hair that I have in right now. Or excuse me, this is the hair that I have in right now. My Pretty Kings tresses. And then this one right now is the Deep Wave. Which I call Rich Curly. Boom, 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 boom. So those are the two patterns that I have in like a curl and a wave. Branding is everything. This one's a 22. This one's a 24. So y'all can kind of see the difference in the pattern. This one's a deep wave. This one's a kinky curly. So fire. So fire. So fire. Then... We have our straight in our body wave because people like options. People like options. People like options, okay? We have our straight hair and we have our body wave here. Do y'all see the packaging? Do y'all see the packaging? Hold up. Sashay and slay, honey. Sashay and slay. It's just, so we have a 16 in straight and we have a 26 in the deep wave, in the body wave, excuse me. So this is our So Sleek. And one thing about my brand, we don't have raggedy ends, okay? We don't have them raggedy ends. We don't have them raggedy ends, okay? We don't do that. This is a 16 inch, y'all can see how full it is. 16 inch you can do two bundles of this and be just fine if you're a girl who likes a natural look you can do two bundles all the way up to um 20 inches two bundles two and a half whichever one you want to do then we have our body wave this is a 26 inch 26 inch body wave body wave body wave oh it's so pretty do y'all see that oh, it's just so pretty everybody loves a good body wave everybody loves a good body wave okay if you're somebody who wants to start a business and you want a hair company i recommend starting with straight and body wave because people love body wave but the thing about body wave hair you can get it straight but body wave likes to revert back to the wave so it's good to have both straight and body wave it's good to have straight and body wave but i'm gonna tell you people think that curly hair is the hardest to find straight hair is the hardest to find straight hair is the hardest to find because everybody sells it but not everybody can get you a straight hair that can get bone straight bone straight it's really hard to find straight hair that will get bone straight okay and then to not have raggedy ends y'all see the quality we don't do raggedy ends okay we don't do that we don't do that okay that's our straight hair that's our body wave so y'all can see the difference body wave then we have our deep wave and our kinky curly okay fire those are the four textures that we currently have these are able to be bleached, dyed, uh, whatever you want to do, manipulate it, however you want to do it. I just say know what you're doing before you do it because um, if you bleach it and you bleach it too far um, and you burn the hair or whatever, 
um you don't want that mistake <laughs> i would if you don't know how to color hair i would just have somebody else do it it's really easy to mess up a good dye job so um that is all the products y'all i'm super excited the website is up right now follow sashay and slay the business page everything regarding sashay and slay will be posted there first um any changes on the website our policies um our business hours um all of our products any new launches that we do um if we're out of stock on any items, it will be posted there first. Um, I'm going to try to keep all of my business related stuff for Sashay and Slay just on Sashay and Slay. Um, if I'm launching something really big, I might go live on my page and tag Sashay and Slay. But Sashay and Slay is a new brand, y'all. I'm really excited. I put a lot of work into this. Um, it's just it it came here really quick i'm super excited about it i didn't think that it was going to launch this fast um it's been a long time coming it's been a long time coming blood sweat and tears y'all it took a long time to get here and i'm super excited about it If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all drop them in the live um, so I can answer them. I was looking for something to show y'all, but I don't know where it's at right now. So forget about it. But that is all the products, y'all. If y'all want to go ahead and shop the brand, everything is live on the website right now. If you add more than one item to the cart, you automatically get a discount. So if you add two scrubs to the cart you get a discount if you add two oils to the cart you get a discount if you add two bonnets to the cart whether you want the beauty and mini or you want one of these you'll get a discount um whoo, my phone is hating on me y'all i didn't talk my phone to half a uh, life okay i got like 10 percent. okay <laughs> And I swear I charged it. iPhones ain't shit. <laughs> but thank you so much, Zakia. Thank you so much. The website is up right now, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and end the live. But if y'all have any questions, drop them down below. I know a lot of people are going to watch the video after. Um, one thing about me, I know a lot of people like to look in our book but um yeah so i'm pretty sure the views are gonna go up later but if y'all have any questions go ahead and drop it and i'm gonna be answering them i'm gonna start going live more often showing y'all my skincare routine so y'all can see how i do my uh skincare routine using my products um how i tie my hair up at night um let me show y'all how i be doing that let me just show y'all before i end the live so normally when I wear my short bonnet, the beauty bonnet, this is what I do. And it kind of just goes based off of how I feel each day, um, how I want to tie it up. If I have long hair, automatically I'm going to my long beauty bonnet because I don't like hair that folds up like this. I don't like my bundles to get messed up. Satin is very important to put on your bundles. If y'all bundles are drying out, it's because you're not wrapping it right. It's because you're not putting the right products on it. You have to treat your bundles like your real hair. You cannot just put it in and then think that, oh, I'm going to just wear it for however many type of weeks or months. And then my hair just going to still look the same as when I left my hairstylist. That's not how it works. If you don't tie your hair up, if you don't take care of it, there's no point of buying bundles. There's no point of buying them. Because people think that you put a bundles in and you could treat it like pack hair. There's a difference between bundles and pack hair. Especially if you have real virgin hair. Okay? If you have real virgin hair, there's a difference between bundles and pack hair. There's a huge difference. Okay? Pack hair 
it's so unison, so straight. Um, it got acrylic or a silicone on it. And when you use it, it's pretty much keep the pattern. It pretty much keep the pattern. But with virgin hair, you have to manipulate it. You have to put products on it. If I didn't do nothing to my hair today, it'd be a big poofy mess. Believe it or not, curly hair will turn into a poof ball just like your natural hair will. It will shed just like your natural hair will. It will break just like your natural hair will. You will mess it up just like your natural hair if you don't put products on it, if you don't wash it, if you don't take care of it. If you have a quick weave, that does not mean you shouldn't wash your hair. If you have a sew-in, that does not mean you shouldn't wash your hair. If you have braids, that does not mean you shouldn't wash your hair. But that's a topic for a different life, okay? But how I tie my hair up, I put this on, right? This is my beauty bonnet. I put this on, and then I grab this, and I tuck it in. But with my short hair, I don't like to, or with my longer hair, I don't like to do this because then I have to fold it. And I don't like folding my bundles, okay? But this is how I wear it to bed. And these don't come off. I'm trying to tell y'all. These don't come off. You fold it, put that mug on, and go on right to bed, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all, uh, with my wraps, I've wrapped my natural hair and my weave because, okay, I know I was a hairstylist before, but before... Beside all that, I still treat my bundles like my real hair. Probably because I really know what goes into it. But I really treat my bundles like my real hair. So I'm straightening it. I'm washing it. I'm blow drying it. I'm putting oil in it. Whatever I did. The gel if I need to. Mousse. Okay? I treat my bundles like my real hair. If I need to clip the ends, I clip the ends. Because yeah, you should clip your bundles just like you clip your real hair. You have to treat it like your real hair. You have to wash it like your real hair. You can't just put bundles in it and think that, oh, um, my hairstylist just put this in. She ain't put no products in, so this should last me about three months. No, sweetie. It's going to turn into a puff ball. It's going to get tangled. It's going to shed. You can't do that. <laughs> like, Treat it like your real hair. For real. And it'll last you up to three years. My bundles last you up to three years. I have hair that I've put in eons ago. And I still have them. Y'all probably be thinking I'm lying, but I'm not lying. Hold up. Yes, this used to be a cover at one point. A heated blanket to be exact. If y'all... Did I not say I wear my brand? Did I not say I wear my brand? If y'all think I wear my brand, okay? If your hairstylist don't wear the hair that she putting in your head, it's a problem. I wear my brand. I don't care if I'm gluing it, cutting it, sewing it. I wear my brand. Who said that you can't glue bundles? Because I know y'all be talking about, oh, you need to go buy you some pack hair to glue your... You can glue your bundles. If you have good bundles, there's no reason why you can't use them bundles again. You can take glue off of bundles, if you didn't know that. If y'all think I don't wear my brand, y'all crazy. This is the hair that I just took out. And not to mention, this video went viral on TikTok with this hair that I have in right now. This was the hair that I had in that video on TikTok, <laughs> believe it or not. This is the hair that I had in my hair. That video has over 30,000 views. And this is the hair that I had in my hair. I did a quick weave and I took the quick weave out. I washed it, blow dried it, and put it back in my hair. I've had this hair for probably a little over a year now. Can you tell though? Yeah. This is the hair that I just took out. It probably look crazy, y'all. It don't matter. Because when I take it out, honey, it go over there. It go over there. This is the hair that I just took out on a quick weave cap. 
I said you can glue your bundles on a quick weave cap. And as y'all can see, all I do is glue it back in like a wig. It's still stretch, honey. It's still stretch. The bundles are intact. This is the 24 and 20. And matter of fact, that's why I was confused earlier. Because this is my kinky curly and this is my deep wave that I had it. And I was trying to figure out which one was which. So this one is the deep wave, which is this texture right here. Hold on. I got so much stuff up here. That's this texture right here. This hair. Okay. This is 24 inches of it though. 24 inch with 22 at the top. That's what this is. Um, and I put this in the same way as this style right here. It was just longer. Same exact style. I put them in. I take them out. When I'm ready to wear them again, I dip it in some water, shampoo it, condition it. Just like my natural hair. The hair that I got in right now is my kinky curly. I've had this for over a year. Um, let me show y'all another one because y'all probably think that I'm playing, but I'm not. Who remembers when I dyed my hair brown? Um, when I dyed it, it, it kind of was getting to blonde. Um, when I dyed it, I also dyed me some bundles to match, which is my same hair. This hair is my body wave. Was it my body wave? Let me think back. I just did like a raven stare. This one is my body wave. This is 26 inches. 26 and 24. This is 26 inches. This hair was my body wave. Y'all be thinking I'm playing. This one need a little love to it. Because I haven't wore this in like... Put it back in more recently but i think it was probably like a year ago but i made this uh quick weave back in 20 i want to say 2021 for my birthday that year and i haven't worn this hair since 2022 but honey and i think middle of 2022 quick weave quick weave and all I do when I get ready to wear them again is I put a new cap on and then I glue this onto that cap this one's a leave out so I glue this one onto the cap and then I take it back off like a wig again and then I don't have to put a new cap on the next time I just glue around the perimeter and I wear it and people think that I spend all this time doing my hair but once I make so many of these I keep rotating them out until I hit the last stretch and then I make me a new one. So this one is the body wave. Body wave. That's the body wave. This was the um deep wave. I have one in here of <laughs> this was a, a bob. <laughs> this was a bob that I had in. A curly bob um i think this one's the deep wave too because it's a looser curl this one's a tighter curl so this was a bob that i had in in a, a leave out um my photo shoot that y'all see right now on my website my photo shoot that i did with the black and the blonde hair um which one is that one i think This one a different one. That's not that. Woo, chow. Woo, chow. Woo, chow. Hold up. It's deep up in there. Woo, chow. It ain't that one. It ain't this one. Oh, let me show y'all this one. Because I don't know where that one is. Oh, it's right here. Is it right here? Is it that one? Was it this? Oh, I got so many, y'all. 
Oh my gosh, I'm really exposing myself right now. Hold on. I have so many. That's not even funny. Like, that's crazy. And had I really went through this bag, oh my gosh. That is so not even funny. <laughs> that is so not funny. Okay, so this one's similar to that one, but that one's in the bottom of the bag. So this one, this one's a leave out. This one's a leave out. And this is with my straight hair. This one's black with brown in it. I think that I did, I did a video, I think it's on Instagram and on TikTok, where I showed y'all how to um, do your parting space to make it look more high definition. Uh, people don't know, but I do like little things to really make the hair look perfect. So I'll put like, um, y'all know how people try to do the old concealer part now with the, the frontals and closures. So I've been doing that with leave out for a while. So when you do your leave out and you put concealer in the part, it gives you a bomb ass freaking um, parting in your hair. I've been doing that for years. But that's when I did a video about this, but this was a middle part. So this was a middle part. And this is my straight hair. Let me put the straight bundle up here so y'all can see. I'm going to show y'all another one with the straight hair too. This is my straight hair right here. So this is my straight hair. And of course, I dyed this too. Y'all can see the brown in there. <sighs> Whatever you can do with your natural hair, you can do with this weave too. Also, another one that uses my straight hair. Is this black and red one. Everybody loved this one when I had this hair in. This is my black with the red. Yes, honey. I only wore this one time, though. Y'all can see that cap look. <laughs> that cap still looks really, really new because I only wore this one time. I put it in to go see my man, then I took it out. It was so hot on that trip. Oh, my gosh. It was so hot. I went to see my man. And then I took it out. Did I wear this once or twice? Nope, I wore it once. Yup, and this is with my straight hair as well. Mm -hmm. This one's a middle part. And I should have some pictures on my page with this. I wore it in a, like a crimp style the last time that I had it in. And then before I did that style, it was just bone straight. And this one is 26. 26 and I think the red is like a 22 or a 20 because the thing about highlights you want to stop it at a certain length because if you stop it at a certain length then it'll look like a blended out you see how once it goes down to a certain part it's like faded in so you don't want to do a color strip or a dyed um piece of virgin hair all the way to the bottom because it don't look right you want it to fizzle out like how natural hair does so i put 20s or 22 something like that with the 26s so that's this like i told y'all you can keep my hair for up to three years it's up to you how long you want to keep it some people um they'll do put it in then after one style they done with it or they'll do two or three styles then they done with it if you put it in some quick weave sew in whatever you want to do wig and you decide to put it back in later you can get multiple wears out of it i do it all the time um i love turning mines into wigs this is another one this one i only wore once too this one is on a dark cap which i don't really care what cap color i have because i know how to blend it so if even if i use the lightest of stocking caps i don't be caring I think this one was the body wave and I think these are 20s in the 18 it's either 20s with an 18 or 22s with a 20 and this is my um 26 inch as y'all can see 26 inch and this is like a 20 so that's this right here my body wave 
and this one was a side part i want to say was it a side part yep because the cap come off a little bit more on one side so this one was a side part and as y'all can see i wore this one time to i think that i did curls in it um but if y'all want to see a video where i kind of like go through all my um wigs one by one maybe i should do that for tiktok because like tiktok really be messing with like the hair videos and stuff like that when i do those um i might do some tiktoks and then if y'all just follow me on tiktok then y'all can see the transformations because what i did have an idea before of putting my wigs back on each one um and showing the different style just in one transition video like one wig boop put it on another wig boop put it on um but if y'all want me to do them one by one so y'all can really see that y'all can wear these bundles over and over and over again i can do that as well the thing about being an influencer content is king if you don't do content you won't get no engagement on your page and I'm getting back into my beauty influencing days because now this is out the way. Um, I'm officially launched. I don't have any more stress. Um, it's taking a long time to get here, baby, but we're here. So I'm going to show y'all the long bonnet, how I put it on with my set that I have for myself. So just so y'all can see, um, depending on how much leave out you have. Um, you can either do it like this or you can fold it. I've been folding it for right now because I don't have that much leave out. Literally, um, y'all can't tell, but I literally have like this much space of leave out like that. It's very, very, very thin. When I wear curly hair, I do not leave a lot of hair out unless I'm going to be pulling it up and doing all that. But when I wear curly hair, I only leave out from ear to ear. About that much leave out parting in the front and i slick it on back i do a flip over sometimes i do a side part or a middle part um i think that i'm gonna do a tutorial on facebook but i don't want to speak on the style that i'm gonna do but it's gonna be with curly hair um but i don't know if i want it middle or side part but my edge wrap i just fold it this is the short one i fold it like this and i put it on my edges I'm going to show y'all how I do my hair when I'm getting in the bed at night and then when I go to get in the shower if I still have the same bonnet on. But mainly I shower with that one because it's a little bit thicker. And um, if I did my baby hair, I do not want my baby hair getting wet. So sometimes I use um, that one. But if I haven't did my baby hair for the day, I don't care. So I just tie this on back here. You get plenty of room to tie it, okay? I tie that on to protect my edges at night and I keep it over my ears so it don't slip back because um, it's satin, satin moves. Um, then my edge, I mean my bonnet, this long, I put it right here and then I just start tucking as I go back like this. Just start tucking it. Then when I get it bunched in the back, I grab my hand like this, pull it out, and I tuck the hair up in there. That easy. That easy, y'all. That easy. Okay? That's the bonnet. This is what it looks like when you wear the bonnet and the edge wrap together. Um, again, keep it over your ears so it don't slide back. This is what it looks like when you go to bed at night. Um, the hair is right there. It's not that long, so my hair stopped like right there. But when I go to get in the shower at night, what I, or whatever time I'm taking a shower, I do this with whatever room that I have, and I tuck it up here in the front. So that way my hair doesn't get wet, or the bonnet doesn't get wet, and I tuck it up there like that. So that's how I shower with this one on. If you one of them people that just, oh my gosh, my hair can't get wet. Uh, you can do the double bonnet. This is just too much for me. I don't want to be hot. Um, but this is my beauty bonnet, the long one and the short one. This is what they look like. 
for the people who missed it this is what they look like so this is my mommy beauty bonnet which also comes with a little one too if you want to do the beauty and mini which is the mommy and me collection for infants and the mommy that's what those two look like this goes up to a baby's head of nine months and then this any head size and those are reversible, so if you want to wear it, which you know mine got glue on it because I actually wear my shit, but if you want to wear it on the gray side, you can wear it on the gray side as well. So yeah, this is how I wear my stuff. If I have really long hair in and I'm taking a shower and it goes all the way down here, I just keep the flaps straight like this and then I pull it up. No matter how heavy the hair is, normally mine stay in here. Um... The hair shouldn't be too heavy to where you can't tuck it. But that's how I'll tuck it. If I have long virgin hair um, that goes all the way down to the ends, I'll just pull it up and tuck it like this. And I'll take my shower, boom, 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 get out, go about my day. Like I said, the long edge wraps, they wrap around the back and then come back to the front and they tie right here. Um, but yeah, keep my separate that is all the products y'all um i'm super excited i'm happy that i got to talk about it these are the long ones they wrap around the back and they come back to the front and then you tie it right here i like these because um you get a little bit more length and if you're one of them people who like to double but yeah that's those um, this is my personal set right here. This is how I personally, shoot, this is how I personally tie my hair up at night. Um, yeah. But, oof, oof, okay. Hey. You know we got to keep the blend blended. Okay. But that is everything, y'all. I do thank y'all for joining the live today and chilling with me. Like I said, there's deals for new customers. You'll get 15% off your order. Um, if you buy more than one item, you automatically get a discount. The bundles, the frontals, the closures, all that is active on there. Um, the products are on there. The bonnets are on there. Um, today was the official launch may 15th i'm super excited again the hair that i have in my hair right now is the pretty kinks tresses the pretty kinks tresses which is my kinky curly hair and this is an 18 just so y'all can kind of gauge like how long the hair will be when you first get it it's going to be somewhere down here um, and then as you wear it, it'll just kind of draw up like your natural hair. But that is everything, y'all. I do thank y'all for tuning into the live and chilling with me tonight. Again, if y'all have any questions, drop them down below. And, you know, I'll go back into the comments and I'll answer all the questions. I'm going to start doing business lives where I can answer y'all questions related to business, how to get started. Even if you want to start a hair company, I'm not a gatekeeper where I won't give you the info. Um, I've helped a lot of people start a hair company. I've helped a lot of people become a beauty influencer. Um, I've given a lot of people different websites and stuff that I use along the way. Um, some people have asked me to start doing a wholesale. Um, I have thought about it. I have thought about it. Um, and I actually even pieced a plan together about how I would do it. But at this time, I don't currently offer wholesale. I may revisit the idea if I get more requests. Um, I've only had about maybe like five people who have asked me to do wholesale. But if I get more requests, um, I have no problem with doing wholesale. It's just one of them things where I don't want to just jump and do any old thing for a coin. That's not me. Um, I'm not in that hungry phase as a hairstylist. Um, like I used to be on the grind, just hungry to get <laughs> my brand out there, um, well, my bundles out there at the time. Right now, I have way more to offer. It's a cohesive brand. It has a strong theme. Um, again, my brand is Cow Print. If y'all haven't seen, it's a melanin cow print. 
um it's so dope i love it um i'm super excited i recommend using the growth oil three times a week to get the best results you'll start seeing results within the first month definitely take progress photos if y'all want to be featured on the website i have no problem with putting y'all on there anytime somebody sends me a review i put it on the website with the photos um people who wear my extensions and they just want to showcase it i put those on there as the um slay dolls rocking a brand um i did drop the video for the get ready with me the doll experience because y'all the dolls you feel me um I'm, I'm a doll but um you guys get to see first hand how to use my products with the doll experience that's on sashay and slay page if you guys go look at that you guys will see the model using my sugar glazes which is sugar scrubs but we not basic over here they call sugar glazes you'll see her using my body oil the vitamin e and lavender oil you'll see her using my black mint with the dried mint leaves in it you'll see her using that um you'll see her using the turmeric glow which is a face glaze um which is also a part of the sugar glaze collection you can use this on the face and the body um honestly you can use any of the scrubs because they're just exfoliators um but if you're trying to get rid of dark marks and acne and things like that i definitely recommend using the turmeric because turmeric is self it's just really great for brightening the skin. If y'all didn't know, turmeric powder just naturally brightens the skin. So if you have dark marks or blemishes and things like that, the turmeric will lighten those up. And then sugar glazes just period um, exfoliate the skin and get rid of dead skin and things like that. I don't know why Siri is listening to everything I'm saying. But um, yeah, all of that's on the website right now. The bonnets, the edge wraps. Our edge brushes, um, literally everything's on the website. My phone is about to die, so I am going to get off live right now. I thank y'all so much for supporting me, um, watching my journey, watching me grow as a hairstylist, her business owner, slash all over influencer. I thank y'all wherever y'all follow me, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, which I'm not really active on Twitter, but um, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, TikTok, wherever y'all follow me. Um, I thank y'all for supporting me so far. This is the launch of Sashay and Slay. If y'all want to shop the brand, go ahead. I have a discount code up right now for all new customers. You automatically get 15% off the order. The first person that orders, I'm just going to go ahead and throw something free in the bag because um, I just love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much. I love the energy tonight. So the first customer will get a free item in their bag. If you spend $100, you automatically get $10 off. Um, new customers get 15% off. And if you automatically, um, if you add two items to the car, you automatically get a discount code off of the two items, right? So that is everything that I had to cover tonight. The website is shop sashayslay.com um that is also posted up here this is the official launch i thank y'all for chilling with me tonight i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because i got probably like five percent on my phone now because i got the 10 min 10 percent warning a long time ago so i'm gonna go ahead and get off live and i will see y'all in the comments drop your questions below um, if you have business related questions and you want me to go back live, let me know. I don't have no problem with that. But I thank y'all so much for tuning in with me. And I will see y'all on shopsashayslay.com or Sashay and Slay LLC page. Love y'all.